opportunities that we have here the Mayo Clinic inviting us over to talk to the various staff members about their specialties is that we get to meet people like Dr. David Patel, whose official title at Mayo Clinic is? Assistant Professor of Ophthalmology. So that means then the next few minutes we're going to be talking about everybody's eyes. Sure. Is Arizona, though, uh, is it an unhealthy place to live for your eyes? Uh, it's a challenging place to live with your eyes. Um, I do say that the environment plays a great role uh, affecting the surface of our eyes and having a more dusty or dry environment poses risk for patients to be able to function normally with good optical vision. Uh, what about the sun and sunglasses? Do you recommend them for everybody? Yes, uh, sunglasses do a couple of things. They'll minimize the extra light that uh, distorts vision, so it minimizes the distortion. In addition, they'll also protect you from ultraviolet rays, especially around the skin, the eyelids, uh, which are prone to getting skin-type cancers, uh, which can be problematic and require more surgical intervention. Even the inexpensive ones? Even the inexpensive ones have some protection. Uh, of course, uh, some patients require prescription glasses, and those are the ones that are, tend to be more expensive and require a uh, sort of pr customized uh, prescription built into it. I'm not trying to save money when I ask you a family question, but my wife did say, when you speak to Dr. Patel today, would you ask him about dry eyes? Because it really is a problem for her. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said, living in this condition, we have a, a very uh, uh, thriving practice requiring management of dry eyes. And we, we usually start patients with uh, traditional therapy with eye drops to enhance the moisture to their eyes. Uh, maybe a lifestyle change of using a humidifier in the room mm. to help uh, increase the ambient humidity will help. Uh, diet has been shown to be beneficial. Like what? Uh, increasing the omega fatty acids in your diet. So, With what? Uh, using supplements like fish oil or incorporating uh, fatty fish in your diet a few servings a week uh, tends to help increase the moisture and the oils that are secreted by the eyelids. Are all eye drops over the counter um, equally valuable, equally the same, or do you have to be careful about what you're buying? Uh, it, in the cases where patients are infrequently using the drops, uh, they're pretty synonymous or similar in their effect, but we have patients who require multiple drops throughout the day, every day, for long periods of time. And that does pose a risk because most of the drops that are available are preserved in a bottle just for uh, avoiding infection. So those patients do better with preservative-free uh, drops uh, to maintain the moisture to their eyes. With a very, very short time left, our entire audience right now, everybody's using both eyes to watch you and listen to these tips about eye health. Let them know two or three things that are good for them. Uh, incorporating uh, eye protection. Uh, I think that's one thing that uh, gets a miss, but quite often we'll get a lot of patients who inadvertently injure or uh, get foreign objects into their eyes. So when they're doing some activity, it's, it's a good idea to have eye protection, uh, wearing goggles or glasses to avoid foreign bodies to their eyes. Maintaining a good uh, ocular exam on a annual or semi a biannual basis, because there are some diseases that are very silent, and that becomes a challenge because patients don't feel the blinding effects sometimes, and it's sometimes too late for it to uh, be caught and you got all of that information at no charge whatsoever because uh, the daily mix is free and the information is invaluable when it comes from Dr. Patel. Dr. Dave Patel from Mayo Clinic.